It is Magic 107.5, 97.5, the real sound of Atlanta. Jackie Page, time to hop into a little girl talk and sitting down at the girl talk today, honey. Without further ado, Grammy-nominated artist, actor, songwriter, uh, minister, mm. has one of the hottest songs ever made. Mm. The one, mm. the only, mm. Montel Jordan. Girl Talk, what's up? How you doing? I'm good, Jackie. Hey, can I stop you for a second and say, hey, I'm no longer Grammy nominated. I actually won a Grammy. Oh. On Lecrae's uh, mm -hmm. album. And, Grammy uh, Award winning. Grammy Award winning. And uh, I got a doctorate uh, from uh, Alcorn University, an honorary doctorate, a couple nice. of months ago, doing a commencement speech. So we got, since you was rattling all that off, the way it sounded good, I said, let me just throw something in on top of that. A little, little, extra, a little, something, little something. Extra, extra stuff on, on, on the list. How What's does it up? feel to actually be a Grammy Award winning? Because you sat in Grammy nominated yeah. for a while. Now you're yeah. Grammy Award winning. How does that feel? It was something that I wanted. I always wanted, always wanted, always wanted it. And then when I wasn't striving for it, mm -hmm. then that's when it came. And so it was a learning lesson for me that – you can try and go after stuff on your own, which yeah. is good. At the same breath, you know, what God has for you is for you, and he brings it in his own time. And so when yeah. I wasn't striving, even thinking about it, it just happened. So I'm yeah. cool with that. Let's talk about this honorary doctorate degree that you got as well. How does it feel to say? <laughs> doctor. Yeah, honey. The like Reverend me. Doctor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I, I think it's interesting because I put in work in my field of, of music and in ministry for many, many years. And so I'm a humanitarian. Uh, I love people. Uh, and uh, as a human to have now a, a doctorate in, uh, in that particular mm -hmm. area, uh, it's cool because I've worked in music and I know people study music and yeah. I understand it. You know, I, I went to Pepperdine University. I studied and did my undergrad and, and did that work. Mm -hmm. uh, but there is a uh, a work ethic that I've done in the actual field mm -hmm. that I could have been studying. And so just the idea that after 30 years that someone would say, hey, we see the value in what you bring, uh, and uh, we want to do this honorary thing yeah. for you. It was honoring. Yeah, 30 years. Yeah. First, does it feel like it's been that long? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it doesn't feel like 30. It doesn't feel like that. But at the same breath, it does feel like um, it does it, – it feels like time well invested. Mm -hmm. You know, in the music business, I made a lot of friends, a lot of relationships. I was a radio-driven artist back in the day. So, you know, I'm walking around the halls of radio stations where people were interns and yeah. now they own the station. And so it's yeah. it's just been a it's been a journey. But I'm glad that after 30 years, mm -hmm. uh, I can still walk into a station and 30 years later people still say hey i know that song mm -hmm. or i know that artist and that's pretty cool yeah did you think when you first started that you would still be in the game 30 years later and that literally you would have one of the hottest mm -hmm. littest get the party started songs ever i don't think 30 years ago i even was looking at what would happen a year or two later wow uh, so longevity, honestly, for me, early on wasn't something that, you know, and, and I think most artists think probably in the beginning, I'm just trying mm -hmm. to get on. I'm just trying to get on. I, I would say I love music so much I would do it for free. Mm -hmm. And I'm sad that people were actually listening to me when I said that because a lot of music <laughs> I did uh, was for free. But yeah. I can say that I knew that the song, not just a career, but I knew that that particular song, this is how we do it, I knew it was special mm -hmm. because it was special before I got to it. Right. You know, 90s. I was sampling, and people were sampling back then. And mm -hmm. Slick Rick's children's story, that was a banger before yeah. I got to it. And so I really took a hit and partnered up with them and made a classic. Mm -hmm. And so now, 30 years later, we have, I think Billboard calls it, one of the top 100 uh, greatest party songs of the last century. That's pretty cool. And that is quite factual because I don't care what race, what age, that song plays, oh, and yeah. the girls are like, ah! That's like, right. It never fails. That's right. And I don't care where it's at. Bar mitzvah, funeral, right. you can throw that joint on. It's going to feel good. Have you had that moment yet where you're like, yo, this song is still, when is it going to stop? Like, is it going to, have you had that like, <laughs> huh? No, I. you know what? I'm I'm grateful because a lot of people haven't had number one songs or they, mm -hmm. they haven't had the longevity that I've been able to have to be able to still tour. Like we're yeah. talking 30 years later, I'm touring with Drew Hill. I'm touring out going doing shows of black street i'm going around the world 30 years later and so yeah. that's a that's a blessing that there are people from the 90s with me that don't do that you know they have different careers mm -hmm. and so uh i pastor i i teach i 
uh, do marriage ministry with my wife, and I get to tour the world still yeah. with music that's been around for 30 years. Yeah, you're still a household name, a, a generational household name. That's cool. Which is an amazing thing, because like you said, a lot of artists don't have that that longevity or mm. even can say that they've been in the game for five years. Yeah. So, I mean, that's that's dope. Really, Thank really you. dope. Um the song, This Is How We Do It, mm -hmm. you just said you sampled it, yes. remixed it, put your little spin on it. Yeah. How would you feel if, because you know a lot of artists are sampling songs now. Uh-huh. If somebody was like, you know what, I want to <clears throat> I, I wanna, I wanna remix or I want to sample This Is How We Do It. And what if they reached out and was like, hey, Montel, can you, can you hop on this track? Okay, so story. Um, true story. Okay. Uh, sometimes people do it and they don't reach out. But um, th this was crazy. I was, can't remember how long ago it was, but it was a Certified Lover Boy, mm -hmm. uh, Drake's album. Mm -hmm. The night it dropped and broke all those records for mm -hmm. streaming or whatever, I was driving home from an event in L.A. Mm -hmm. and somebody hit me up and was like, yo, yo, you got to put the album on. You got to put the album on. Congratulations. Yeah. I was like, congratulations, what? And so uh, on uh, Drake's album, a Certified Lover Boy, there's a song called Poppy's Home mm -hmm. where he sampled my song Daddy's yeah. Home for my very first album. Mm -hmm. And so nobody reached out to me to say anything. But, you know, it's still... Uh, Drake! Yeah. That's why him and Kendrick going through what oh, they go through right, right. Now. You know, but but the beautiful thing is it, it was a successful album for him. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think he broke a record for, like, he had, like, the top eight spots on the Billboard mm -hmm. Hot 100. Yeah. And Poppy's Home was one of those songs yeah. that was in the top eight. So mm -hmm. you're talking... 27, 26, 27 years later, I have another song in the top 10. Yeah. You know, it just wasn't, it wasn't asked for, but mm -hmm. it was appreciated. Drake? Now. Nah. We, like, like, we tell Kendrick. We tell Kendrick now. No. <laughs> Look, just give Kendrick a nice little text and call. Have to, have to call K-Dot and get this, get this money. No. <laughs> He'll handle that for sure. Yeah. So you'll be at Mabel House Barnes uh, this weekend. Yeah, July 13th. Yes. Mabel House Barnes Amphitheater, Montel Jordan, Drew Hill. Listen, people are going to walk away from this concert. And like I said, I've been saying, what they're going to say is, man, it sounds just like the record. Mm -hmm. It sounds just like the record. To me, that's the ultimate compliment. Yeah. Does it ever feel like a, especially in this moment, Drew Hill, you, <clears throat> does it feel like a like an old family reunion? It is that. It is that. When I see Cisco, when I see my guys, uh, we get a chance to sit down. We'll break bread together. We travel when we are together. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's like uh, we were label mates on Def yeah. Jam, which is celebrating their 40th uh, anniversary as a label. And this is how we do it. It'll be 30 years next year. So mm -hmm. uh, I love that I get to meet with my young brothers and yeah. we get to hang out and still make people feel great. Yeah, absolutely love it. The show this weekend, what else do you have going on right now? <laughs> I know you're you're in the ministry. What else is going on with Montel Jordan? What is going on in the world of Montel Jordan? Montel Jordan has seven kids and four grandsons. Uh, Montel is doing marriage ministry with his wife. My wife and I just celebrated 30 years of marriage to each other yeah. uh, on June the 18th, which is pretty cool. We uh, renewed our vows in St. Martin, Ooh, uh, yes. which was great. Um, wonderful time doing that. I uh, got a Christmas song I'm dropping uh, coming, a uh, modern-day Christmas classic coming okay. uh, probably the day after Thanksgiving. Okay. Um, beautiful song called Santa Will Be Late. Okay. Uh, because Santa has a Mrs. Claus, and he has to handle his business. Period. Which is pretty cool. <laughs> uh, and uh, that's uh, that's pretty much uh, I'm, what I'm working on right now, doing, like I said, uh, trying to help uh, save a million marriages. Mm -hmm. uh, we try and help public marriages heal in private, mm -hmm. and that's really, I think, the focus we're going to be uh, moving into the next year. Yeah, absolutely love it. Got to ask you real quick um, before we wrap things up. Um, I was telling one of my coworkers before you came in here that you were coming in here, and he brought up the uh, Martin episode. And he was like, oh, "Yo, yeah. you gotta ask Montel yeah. about that Martin episode." Um, when Funny. you saw that, <laughs> what what like what was your first like train of thought when you when you saw that? Like, yo. What was what was the thought? Like, I made it, <laughs> Mama! I made it. <laughs> I was famous now. <laughs> no, nah, you know what? Seeing that was super super cool because I'm a huge I'm a comedy fan, yeah. so I'm a, definitely a huge Martin fan. And uh, the fact that you know that it kind of I mean that was a viral thing before 
Right. There was anything to go viral and on. It's, and it so, is still viral. We were watching it today, and still we were like, we were watching it laughing. It's so like, it was a dope moment. Yeah, yeah. You got to get your groove on. <laughs> so that was fun. You got to get your groove like, Yeah. <laughs> you and so he kept doing it. He, he was like, yo, that joint. And then Tisha yeah. just kind of was just like, I'm done. I yeah. can't do this anymore. Yeah, that's great, though. I, I love that, that uh, my, my music has transcended not just the music world, but it's hit the world of comedy. Yeah. It's hit stadiums. It's a stadium anthem. Every yeah. football game, every basketball game, WNBA game. Clubs. It clubs. doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, like you, you know. Bar mitzvah, weddings. There you go. That's it. It doesn't matter. You have literally made a song that will transcend, I honestly think, the rest of time because it is just one of those songs that it's a it's a good feeling song. Yeah. I get to be a part of people's great events in yeah. their lives. Their biggest moments, their biggest yeah. memories. Yeah. That's a that's a that's a thing. That's that's not a bad thing either. At all. Yeah. Household name, like I said, generational household name. Because different generations, young, old, those who come. Grandmama know me. Your grandmama uh, know me. Oh, she does. And your kids probably do, <laughs> Let's too. Let's be very clear. Good. Grandmother knows who Mom Tell Jordan is. Because when the song drops, she'd be the yeah. first one. Hold on, this my song. Oh, she said, oh, that, that's that's uh, Martell. That's the, that's uh, Martell. <laughs> <laughs> and girl, if you don't sit down, we don't have time for this. Family ATL, <laughs> Montel Jordan sitting down at the girl talk table. He will be at the Mabel House Barnes. Amphitheater this weekend, live on the stage. Uh, where can people find you at? Social media, website, all that type of good I'm stuff. I'm easy to find. IG is Montel Jordan um, and also Montel and Kristen. Uh, Facebook, Montel and Kristen. YouTube, Montel and Kristen. Um, we easy to find. Go ahead and hit that follow button. And congratulations on all of the success. Thank you so much. And I appreciate being able to uh, to be spend some time with you today. I love what you're doing here. I'm, I'm honored that you would share your platform uh, with you. me today. Uh, and I I'm had super, to. super one of the, you're a legend. You're a great. It's only right. Yeah, but you got people that listen to you every day. They may listen to me a song here or there or whatever, but folks are, are riding with you. And so that I, I get to come it. and be there, I, I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It's magic.